When you come to the book of 1 Corinthians and you open to the 15th chapter, the first thing that you read is the best definition of the gospel you will find any place in the Bible. Actually, the text says this is the gospel. If somebody asks you, what is the definition of the gospel? We talk about the gospel all the time. What is the gospel? What's included in the gospel? What can't be left out of the gospel? Here's the answer to that question. I declare to you the gospel, said Paul, that which I all received from Christ, that he died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. What is the gospel? The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's the good news that our sin has been atoned for by someone who could atone for it, and he rose victorious out of the grave and put his foot on the neck of Satan and said, it is finished, you can be forgiven. That is the gospel, according to 1 Corinthians 15. But notice, the gospel is not just the death of Christ, and it's not just the burial of Christ. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amphis. The gospel is not just the death of Christ, and it's not just the burial of Christ. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And Paul insisted that the bodily resurrection of Jesus is absolutely critical and pivotal to all of us that we cannot really be Christians unless we comprehend the importance of the resurrection. Is he living or did he die? Both. But that's true because after having been living, he died and he came back from the grave victorious over death. And you say to me, Pastor, why is that important? Because if all he did was die, he's no better than all the other martyrs in all of the world. There are a lot of leaders, would-be leaders. You can go find them in a casket someplace or there's a monument made to them. Their bodies are in the grave. Their bodies are being preserved, but they're dead. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ went into the grave, but he came out of the grave on the third day, and we call that the resurrection. 